That is extraordinary. This ain't it. It ain't it. everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Jordan and I am so happy to have you here today I wanted to put a little twist on a already popular video let me just tell you I love any excuse to hit up Dunkin or Starbs there are videos circulating YouTube about trying your subscribers drinks and stuff like that I've actually filmed that before and I love watching them but Starbucks and Dunkin' both came out with their holiday menu, so I thought it would be fun to try out all the different drinks that they offer since I never really have in the past, and I'm always pretty curious to see which are better. I am more of a Starbucks person. I am ride or die, love of my life, but I do also enjoy iced coffee from Dunkin', so I thought I would put it to the test and see how their holiday drinks are, how they match up to each other, and yeah. If you're not already part of the fam, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps support my channel and I just love interacting with each and every one of you. My socials will be down below if you're interested. And without further ado, let's get into testing these holiday drinks. So I'm currently in line waiting to order my first drink and this line is going so slow, but oh, I'm about to order. Can I just have a tall toasted white chocolate mocha? And can I have it made with almond milk instead of the 2%? For sure, do you still want the whipped cream? No, thank you. No, you want ice? Yes, please. All right, 582. Okay, thank you. I've already had quite a lot of caffeine this morning, so that's why I got a tall. Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm very good. I'm okay? Thank you. You have a beer party. You too. Thank you. Thank you. So I ordered this girly right here. So I just got a tall ice toasted white mocha. And I got it with almond milk instead of 2%. And I got no whipped cream because I don't like whipped cream. But um, pretty sure I'm going to love this because my go-to drink from Starbucks used to be an iced coffee with two pumps white mocha, two pumps cinnamon dolce. So cheers, ladies and gents. Really good. Definitely not worth $6 for this little thing, but delicious nonetheless. I would rate it like an 8 out of 10, I would say. Not my absolute favorite drink I've ever ordered from Starbucks, but definitely really, really good. Obviously, I spiced it up a little bit with my almond milk, but again, 2%. I don't like milk. I never have. And also, it always upsets my stomach a little bit and you usually order this hot I think but I'm just such an iced coffee gal so here we are we'll see you tomorrow or whenever next I go to Starbucks we're back at Starbucks again um, I have no clue what I'm gonna order today but I will be sitting in this line for a long time because the line is wrapped around the entire building it is madness Everybody wants their holiday drinks. <gasps> Thank you so much. Oh my God. That is so sweet. I really appreciate that. <laughs> See, there are good people in the world still. Can I have a tall caramel brulee latte? Can I just do almond milk then instead? I'm just now realizing that I didn't ask for it iced. I asked for a hot latte, but I feel like it might taste better warm. There you go. Thank Thanks you. So so, I ended up ordering a tall caramel brulee latte, but I got almond milk instead of the regular like 2%, but they just released their new holiday cups like yesterday. Yeah, extremely excited about that. They're so cute. I missed out on like the reusable cup, but I can always just buy that. Let's taste test, shall we? Cheers. Oh, wow. Wow, that is really good. And that's coming from someone who doesn't really like hot drinks. Oh my God. I also did not get whipped cream because 
I'm just not a fan of whipped cream. I don't know if anyone knew that, but I knew it would be good, but I didn't know if I'd really like it, but I would actually order this again. So I'd rate this probably like an eight and a half out of 10. Yeah, eight and a half out of 10. Well done, Starbucks. Today I was going to drive to the usual Starbucks location I always go to, but when I got there, they're closed. For some reason, they're temporarily closed. So, change of plans. We are now at Target, which is always dangerous for me. But we're going to go to the Starbucks inside of Target, and then we'll come back and do our taste test. Here you go. Thank you. You too. We're back, it was pretty busy in there, but nonetheless, we secured the goods. 10 out of 10 with the packaging, Starbucks. You you always outdo yourself. In any case, I got a tall chestnut praline latte and I did not get any whipped cream. So I decided to go for the hot version because it's freezing out and I always get iced, but I wanted to change it up today. For some reason, I feel like this might taste better warm. I don't know if that's just in my head, but here she is in her glory. One sip, everyone knows the rules. Pinky's up, of course. Wow. That is extraordinary. I honestly didn't know if I was gonna like this. Holy cow, this is good. Oh my god. This is by far, I think, my favorite. I think this is my favorite so far, so I'm going to give this a 9.2 out of 10. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next drink. Another day, another drink. Here we are. Today I'm deciding to switch it up a little bit and we're going to go to Dunkin' Donuts and see what kind of holiday drinks they have there. I know they have a few, but I'm not really sure what they have on their menu, so we're gonna give that a go. You guys know I love the Dunkin' Iced Coffee. I used to be a huge Dunkin' hater, but I, I love it now. It's a passion of mine, so let's see what they've got. And for an added bonus, if you order today, you get like four times the points you normally would, which is, we love that. What can we go for you? Hi, can I have a grande chai oat milk latte, please? And can I have that iced? Sorry, what's grande? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I have a medium, please? Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> I cannot believe I just said grande. <clears throat> That's when you know you go to Starbucks too much. I am embarrassed. Thank you. Have a nice day. So we are finally situated, and I parked my car so we can try out this bad boy. So I just got a medium iced chai latte with oat milk. It was advertised as one of their holiday drinks and I love chai lattes and oat milk, of course. Who doesn't love oat milk? So let's give it a whirl, shall we? Okay. Um, is it the best chai latte I've ever had? No. I definitely don't like it as much as Starbucks. Yeah, I don't really like this. She could have just made it poorly. I don't know. All I taste is milk. I don't taste any chai whatsoever. I don't really like this. I'm quite disappointed actually. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of ten. It just tastes like I'm drinking straight milk. This ain't it. It ain't it. It's another day, people. We are back at Dunkin' Donuts and we're gonna give it another try. I was extremely disappointed in that chai oat milk latte. I thought it would be so good. And like the more I drank it, the more disgusting it was. It was literally just a cup of milk, basically. On a more positive note, we're back. We're gonna try a different drink today and see how that is. Also, please excuse my appearance. I just came from skating, so looking a bit rough. Hi, can I have a small uh, gingerbread iced latte, please? Okay, thank you. How are you there? Good, how are you? Here you go. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of my day. This man. This man is always working here. 
and he's always so like he's friendly but he's so weird he so this is my drink i got a small ice gingerbread latte and i didn't know it came with whipped cream so i mean i guess it is what it is i don't really like whipped cream but it'll do here we go people it's pretty good definitely not like a drink that i would normally order it's a little bit too cinnamony for me but still good okay not bad definitely like this more than the chai i would give this like a six out of ten duncan is just not living up to starbucks it's just not you know i love duncan coffee but these like holiday drinks not hitting the spot hi guys so it is the final day of testing out the holiday drinks and I wanted to end with a bang so we're back at Starbucks I actually went to a different location and this one is actually open I have absolutely no clue what I'm gonna order so that's where I'm at and I'm about to get up to order right now so we'll see how that goes but yeah I've had a lot of fun trying these different drinks it hasn't been the best for my bank account but it's it's worth it can I have a tall peppermint hot chocolate, please? Tall peppermint hot chocolate? Any else That's it. Hi. Thank you. You too. Why was that so stressful for me? So, we have just parked, um, and now we can officially try out the beauteous drink. Um, I actually kind of blacked out when I ordered because... There was a really long line and I didn't want to be that person to hold up the rest of the line. So I panicked naturally and I ordered a peppermint hot chocolate. I mean, sounds delicious. I like hot chocolate a lot. It's one of those things that I can only have every so often, you know, like a little treat. I'm excited to try it out, of course. And today I got a different holiday cup, which is cute. I wonder how many different cups they have. I don't know last drink of the video cheers guys mm. that is spectacular wow i have successfully gotten lipstick all over my lid but holy cow this is delicious so good and i want to say this is my first hot chocolate of the season so kudos to that it was also only like $3, which is significantly cheaper than any other holiday drink you get at Starbucks. Um, if you like hot chocolate, definitely recommend this. The peppermint isn't too overbearing, which I really, really like. Um, it's just like a fun little addition. So I would have to score this a solid 9 out of 10. Out of all the drinks, though, I want to say my top two favorites were the chestnut praline latte. That is extraordinary and the creme brulee latte oh my god those two were absolutely incredible will be ordering those again for sure but i will say that duncan did not meet my expectations whatsoever like starbucks blew duncan out of the water with their holiday drinks i only tried two drinks from duncan but i really did not enjoy either Every single drink I've ordered from Starbucks, though, I've absolutely loved. So, once again, I have proven that Starbucks is superior to Dunkin'. All love to Dunkin', though. You guys know I'm an avid Dunkin' iced coffee drinker. So, no bashing on Dunkin', just their holiday drinks weren't it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure, of course, to hit the like button. It really helps my channel. Comment down below which of these drinks you've either tried or you want to try after this video. And subscribe if you're not already because I will be participating in Vlogmas. I have been planning already a bunch and I'm so, so excited. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. Hmm. As of right now, that's all I got. So I love you guys to pieces. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.